Here's an EQ strategy to help you stay in the zone when producing. I like to separate the use of EQ into two categories, corrective and creative. When mixing, we've all heard the advice to avoid over-the-top EQ. Too much will sound forced or unnatural. A little EQ goes a long way. But EQ for sound design is totally different. When experimenting or designing sounds, huge boosts or cuts can help you sculpt sounds creatively. Here you can forget the rules and EQ by feel. And ultimately, if it sounds good, it is good.